Hello, sports fans, and welcome to another edition of Scott Sports 101 NFL Football Sunday Week 7. We'll call in early games, late games, Sunday Night Football, post-game show. I'm sorry I didn't get to do a pre-game show or any of my other ones, but you will get them next week, hopefully. Uh, but we, uh, we got, we've got the Browns score to go over, we've got all of today's action to go over, and the Sunday Night Football game. But first, here is today's Scott Sports 101 uh, NFL Football Sunday Week 7 trivia question. Which of the following men did not coach the Browns? I will have the answer later on the podcast. Well, the Browns played hard, but it was not enough as the Browns lose to the Baltimore Ravens 23-20 today at MNT Bank uh, Stadium uh, in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, Browns players screamed and yelled after the 23-20 loss to the Ravens. And especially in the locker room before it was open to the media for press conferences. And players and coaches had to be calmed down. Uh, the, uh, the rants, uh, which uh, included a reference to leadership, went on for nearly five minutes and ceased just before Stefanski blew through the doors to break down the Browns' fourth straight loss, one that dropped them to 2-5 and five heading into the Monday night game, Halloween game, against the Bengals. Uh, receiver Amari Cooper, who drew, seemingly, who drew a seemingly ticky-tacky offensive pass interference uh, call at the uh, end of the game, uh, that uh, end of the game that cost... Uh, that cost... The Browns, a late <clears throat> potential uh, game-winning touchdown, said it's all part of the game. But I felt that should not have been on the Browns. It should have been on uh, the Ravens. It should have been on not us. And I do feel that way. That it should not have been on us. Had not have been on us. That it should not have. Uh, so uh, uh, just that, that's just me and. Uh, so, but I'm going to recap the Browns game for you right now. And I did not want us find the three or four. This one I was upset about. And, uh, but I'm going to recap the game for you right now. Uh, first quarter, the Browns scored their first touchdown of the game. It was second to go at the Baltimore second. Nick Chubb, right tackle for the two-yard touchdown. K. Doors extra point was good, and it was 7-0 Browns. Browns took the early 7-0 lead in the first quarter. Then the Ravens. Uh, it was a 4-3 at Cleveland 14. Uh, 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 Justin Tucker, 32-yard uh, field goal is good. It, and it was a 32-yard field goal. It was good. And it was 7-3 Browns. And then uh, the Browns got to... Oh, come on. To 4th and 13 at the Baltimore 23. Uh, Cade York's 41-yard field goal was good. And it was 10-3 uh, Browns. And the Ravens went three and out and had to punt after three plays and no yards. It was 10-3 at the end of the first quarter. In the second quarter, the Browns went had to punt after going three and out, three plays and minus four yards. And then... Oh, come on. And then the Ravens got to fourth and five. Uh, Justin Tucker's 34-yard field goal was good. And it was 10-6 Browns. Then the Browns uh, went three and out and had to punt after three plays and minus one yard. Then the uh, then the Ravens scored uh, their uh, their first uh, touchdown of the game, and it was uh, first and goal. Uh, uh, Edwards left tackle for the seven yard touchdown. Uh, Justin Tucker's extra point was good, and it was thirteen ten Ravens. And the Browns had the punt after going three and out, seven plays and forty two yards, and then. First and ten at Baltimore. Lamar Jackson kneels for us for at the Baltimore seven for minus one yard, and it was thirteen ten at halftime. 
Uh, then in the third quarter, the Ravens had to punt after going three plays and minus 19 yards. So then the Browns fumbled the ball, and it was uh, uh, 3 and 13 at the Baltimore 37. Jacoby Brissett sacked at the Cleveland 30 for uh, minus seven yards. Uh, it was uh, Campbell who uh, fumbles, and it was recovered by uh, 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 Owa at the Cleveland 26. So the Ravens got the ball back, and they scored their second touchdown of the game. And then it was uh, fourth and goal at the Cleveland one. Edwards left tackle for the one yard touchdown. Justin Tucker's extra point was good, and it was 20 to 10 Ravens. And then the Browns got to the uh, to uh, fourth and three at the Baltimore 19. Uh, Cade York kicked a 37 yard field goal. It was good, and it was. 20 uh, to 13. The Browns were down by a touchdown. Then the uh, Ravens, they got to uh, fourth and one. To, uh, they got to uh, fourth and nine, excuse me, at the Cleveland 37. Justin Tucker's 55 yard field goal was good. It was 23 13. Browns down by 10. Uh, and at the end of the third quarter. Then the fourth, the Browns scored their uh, second touchdown of the game. <coughs> <clears throat> and it was uh, Kareem Hunt right tackle for the two yard touchdown. KJR's extra point was good. And it was 23 20 Ravens. The Browns were back in it. And then the Ravens fumbled the ball. Come on. And it was. Uh, Hill up the middle. It was a second 11 at Cleveland 24. Hill up the middle to the Cleveland 20 for four yards. And then uh, Jeremiah uh, Uzo Carmona fumbles and touched at Cleveland 37, recovered by um, Isaiah Thomas at the Cleveland 16 penalty on Baltimore. And it was offensive holding declined. And then the Browns got the ball back. And. Uh, And Cade York, they got to a 4th uh, and 10th to Baltimore 42. Cade York had a, kicked a 60-yard uh, 60 field goal, but it was blocked. So it was a missed field goal. It was a blocked field goal. And so the uh, Ravens got the ball back. Ravens had to punt after going 3-and-out uh, after three plays and no yards. And then uh, this is one... Uh, uh, Jacoby Brissett... Uh, Pass deep right to uh, Donovan Peoples-Jones to Cleveland 42 for 19 yards. And then Stone fumbles and recovered by Baltimore. Stone to Cleveland 43. And uh, uh, and that, when the, that fumble with the Browns happened, with that missed field goal, actually, it was... That's when uh, Amari Cooper had an offensive pass interference and there was no play. But nonetheless, the Brown, the, uh, that fumbles on the turnovers, that costed the Browns. If they play hard, it wasn't enough. And the uh, Ravens get the win uh, by the final score of 23-20. Uh, to 20. So, uh, and I got to give the game balls to the Ravens. I have to give them to them. So... Lamar Jackson, 19 of, 9 of 16, carries an attempt, 120 yards, uh, no touchdowns. Uh, uh, it was uh, Gus Edwards. That's what I got. You heard me say Edwards, but it's Gus Edwards. Uh, 16 attempts, 66, 66 yards, 200, and uh, uh, Rashad Bateman. Uh, uh, four receptions, 42 yards, and I'm going to give Nick Chubb a game ball for the one touchdown that uh, he did score. So he will get a game ball. So that's the only Brown that gets one. So.
And so, uh, but the Browns will have to win the game next Monday night against the against the Bengals to really have a chance to uh, get back in this to go to three and five. They will have to do it. And we'll get to all the rest of the scores uh, uh, in just a moment. Right now, I'm nine and four in my picks, and my brother-in-law is eight and five. But I'm, it's time to reveal the answer to today's Scott Sports 101. NFL Football Sunday Week 7 Trivia Question. Which of the following men did not coach the Cleveland Browns? If you said Paul Warfield, you are correct. Schottenheimer coached them in the 1980s, Palmer in the late 1990s as an expansion team, and Brown, and that's Paul Brown, in the early years of Cleveland football. And now I have another trivia question on my next podcast, so stay tuned for that. Now to get to the other scores, you already know uh, that the uh, uh, the uh, Arizona Cardinals beat the Saints Thursday night, forty-two to uh, thirty-four on Thursday night football. So that was a big win for Arizona. A big upset today, and Car- the Carolina Panthers wall up the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 21 to 3 at Bank of America Stadium in Carolina. Boy, Tampa Bay just was held to one field goal. They struggled offensively and defensively in this one today. The uh, Cincinnati Bengals beat the Atlanta Falcons 35-17 at Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. The Dallas Cowboys beat the Detroit Lions 24-6 at uh, AT&T Stadium in uh, uh, Big D in Dallas, Texas. Uh, the New York Giants beat the Jacksonville Jaguars at Everbank Field in Jacksonville, Florida, 23-17. They go to 6-1. Uh, and one. The uh, uh, Another upset today, the Washington Commanders beat the Green Bay Packers at FedEx Field in Washington, 23-21. Uh, the Tennessee Titans beat the Indianapolis Colts, 19-10 at Nissan Stadium in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. The, uh, the uh, Las Vegas Raiders beat the uh, Houston Texans, 38-20. At Elijah Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada. The New York Jets beat the Denver Broncos at Empire Field at Mile High, 16-9. The uh, Kansas City Chiefs <coughs> did beat the 49ers, 44-23 at Levi Stadium in San Francisco. And the Seattle Seahawks upset the uh, L.A. Chargers at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. And that was 37-23. to And on Sunday Night Football, the Dolphins, they go to... Uh, four and two, and they beat uh, the Steelers sixteen to ten at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. And one game to go, and that's tomorrow night's game, the Monday night game against the the Bears and the Patriots at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. Well, that's just about gonna wrap it up for the Scott Sports One Hundred and One uh, Week Seven. Uh, uh, early games, late games, Sunday night football post game show. I'll be back with the Monday night football pregame. Show before the the Bears Patriots game and the post game after the game is concluded. But until then, always remember be a team player each and every day and every way possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one. I'm done.